Sport on Friday, July the 24th. Uh, doors opening uh, at six o'clock, first fight half past seven. Uh, tickets on sale, of course, from all the fighters present on the top table and from wraithpromotions.com. Uh, quick introduction on the top table. Uh, far right, we've got Mal Gates, obviously from uh, South Shields. Mal Gates is stable, uh, managing uh, a couple of the fighters on the show. Ronnie Rowe um, from Fighting Chance. Um, then we've got Danny Wall, who we'll come to at the end of the press conference. Uh, we've got Tom Whitfield. Uh, one of Mal's fighters, obviously back on the show again. Uh, great to have him back in Gateshead. And Danny Cox, my business partner from Relentless Promotions. Uh, on the immediate right, Anthony Babyface Nelson. Great to have Anthony on our show. Um, collection of belts in front of us here. Um, all through sheer hard work and determination by this young man. And uh, great, great to have him on the show. On my left, one of the biggest names in Northeast Boxing as well, Travis Dickinson. Pleasure for me as a promoter to finally get a chance to promote him. Uh, it's not every day um, a small old promoter gets a chance to put a big name on like Travis, but I'm immensely proud of, you know, that we've got him on this show and it's, uh, it's great to see him back and I'm sure that he'll uh, give everybody a show to remember. On the next, on the next uh, side to, to Travis, we've got Andy Buchanan. Again, done a lot of work with Andy myself as a promoter. Great to have him on this show. Um, He's uh, looking for bigger days ahead. This is uh, simply a warm up, I think, for, for bigger days ahead. A lot of talk going on uh, with, with Fighting Chance and, and various other people, and I think this will be a nice little warm up for, for a couple of big fight nights for Andy before the end of the year. Then we've got Lewis Scott. Uh, Lewis, of course, out in, uh, on our last show, uh, the Friday fight night. A narrow defeat, um, looking to bounce back. Had uh, a couple of bad injuries, um, but I, from what I've heard from the lads in the gym, he's looking great, and I think this time he will make a, a, a big, big uh, announcement about where his future lies in boxing. Um, new names, of course, to be added to this show. Two big uh, debuts. Uh, we've got TK. Um, he's, uh, he's in the army, uh, comes from Catterick, but um, big, big prospect, a huge opportunity for him to, to make a, a big announcement. It's uh, wide open, his division at the moment in, in the northeast, and I think, uh, I'm sure he, he'll take the opportunity. And last but not least, uh, Mark White. Great to have Mark on the bill as well. Great amateur record, something which um, you know, Ronnie has, uh, you know, Ronnie's obviously watched him with interest over the years that he's spent in that game. And uh, Ronnie says that this, this lad's certainly one for the future. Um, so, we've got a, a great lineup. it's a great show. Sadly, uh, from my point of view, we did lose Anthony Hardy, but a promoter cannot stand in the way of somebody getting a, a, an English title opportunity. Um, as Anthony Hardy did, we wish him well. I hope that he does. Uh, he does bring the bell back to the northeast, and, and then we can put Anthony on uh, on our next show, uh, which we've announced today, which is the 18th of September at the Academy for Sport, and that will have, uh, you know, again an equally exciting lineup. Um, I will say that we have already announced today, and I'm I'm, I'm going to go um, a little bit out of kilter what I said I would do, but we have announced today that Danny Wall uh, will be on that show. Uh, Danny is a uh, cracking prospect. Um, came to me and asked me um, if I'd be interested in managing him. Sadly, I didn't have my manager's license a few uh, a few months ago. Um, I had a good chat with him and, and asked him to go with Tommy Conroy, and that's where he's gone to. So Danny's now uh, boxing out with Tommy Conroy's gym. Um, he's an Ashton lad, uh, or an Ashton lad, as they say in them part. But uh, he's another good prospect, somebody who uh, relentless promotions will certainly be spending a lot of time uh, an effort on and hoping to push uh, at the top of the game, but he will be making his debut as I say, on the 18th of September at the Academy for Sport in a show that will be co-promoted by Fighting Chance and hopefully um, maybe one other as well, but uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, we'll be having a meeting about that today, but there will be more information coming as and when. Um, okay, as we've got a big top table, I'll leave it to Peter Mann probably and Nathan Orr to ask the questions, um, and Roy Kelly I think is here as well. Uh, but uh, over to you, gents, if you, if you want to fire away, ask some questions, please do. Lewis, <laughs> uh, Lewis um, obviously you're going to be fighting some of the first again. Um, what do you believe you're going to be able to change from this time round? You're going to get that victory this time? Um, actually, I think the opponent's it's changed. changed. It's changed. Yeah, yeah, it's changed, yeah. Uh, I think I've got Chris Jenkins. Right? That's right, I think so, yeah. Chris okay. Jenkins now, so um, I've got a statement to make. Um, I was maybe a little bit apprehensive from my shoulder and stuff like that, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm ready this time and I'm out in the gym, so uh, I've got to prove it. So you're going to have 100% ready then, so there's back good, 110%, aye, ready to go.
Um, just a quick one for the Denver since I'm fighting chance there, but obviously there's a big there's a joint fight chance. Both big names, big stature as well there taken. Um what are you how are you feeling, what are you looking for going into your fashion on debuts next week? Oh to be honest with you, I've done really weights. Uh, been been uh, honor, been really honoured to be Included in the stable of uh, professional boxers from uh, Fighting Chance Gym under Ron Rowe and uh, Gary Barr. And uh, to be honest, I'm really quite like because they won't just take anyone on board. And uh, training, uh, obviously, is firing with the likes of uh, the English champ Travis. It's, it's quite an uh, experience. And uh, to be honest, I really, really can't wait. Really can't wait. Yeah, it's good. We've got a good camp. We've got experience a lot and stuff. Yeah, the presence done. Everything's going really well. Travis, how important is this fight going to be? Obviously, we've got out the last time out in Newcastle. Oh, it's very important. Yeah, I need to get a win. Obviously, last time I got myself knocked out. <laughs> it happens in this game. I had a, had a bad night. Yeah, you can't afford to have bad nights in this game, right? People's going to hurt you. So, what I put up behind this straight back in, yeah, I want to. We will see a different way on the night. And Steve, just you've obviously got two great champions um, on the show. Is this one of your best shows you put on? Um, I'll tell you on the 25th of July. <laughs> um, it's great. It's great. You know, I think Danny Cox and I have, you know, we worked hard for the last three years to, to, to put boxing back on the map on on Tyneside. Um, and I think, um, you know, with working with the likes of Fighting Chance and Mal Gates, um, who've embraced, you know, me coming into the game, I think it's been fantastic. And I think. Uh, you learn who your friends are. Um, you know, it's, it's a tough business. Um, it's a very tough business. Um, you can count your friends on one hand in this industry. Um, and I think, I, you know, I think with the likes of Mal Gates, Ronnie Rowe, and Tommy Conroy, I can't go far wrong. Um, I, I live by the adage in my life that you surround yourself with good people, and, and that's the way that I continue. You know, I continue to move on in, in boxing, and I know Danny, you know, is of the same mindset. So. I think, um, you know, at, on paper at this moment in time, uh, you know, with, with over a week to go, it looks like one of the best shows that we've put on. And, um, you know, it's, it's great to see that, you know, the, the, the support that the lads are getting, you know, um, you know, every time we put a show on, you know. Um, and I think, yeah, it, it's got potential to be one of the best. And giving you talent a chance as well, not just the, the established guys. That's great. I mean, for me, you know, I stick to doing what I do best, which is promoting. Um, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a boxing coach. Um, you know, that's where Ronnie Rowe and Mal Gates and, and, and Tommy, uh, 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 you know, streets ahead. You know, they can see a good fighter. You know, I might see somebody who looks, you know, looks as if he can do um, well in the ring, and somebody who might sell 300 tickets. But what we don't really want is we don't want people coming into this game who've had no amateur record really uh, as such. Um, and, and who, you know, maybe have had one unlicensed fight and suddenly think they're Rocky Balboa, you know. And there seems to be a bit of that going on at the moment, which is disappointing. Um, you know, we don't make false promises with Relentless, you know, we don't promise 50-50 fights. We just give fights that people want to see. And, and, and ultimately, for, ultimately for me, I think when you look along the line uh, today, you know, we've got a fantastic, you know, fantastic, you know, line up, a, a fantastic bunch of lads who've all got the right trainers behind them, the right the right camps behind them. We've got sponsorship, you know, coming out of the rears. Most of these fighters, you know, they've all got their own little thing going on. And I think as a as a unit, we're, we're all doing very well. And I think we can only get bigger and better on this side of the water. So, you know, let's let's see how the uh, let's see how the 24th of July goes. But I'm very confident. Well, you know, we're getting to the stage now where we're announcing shows before we've got a show over with. And um, so I, I, again, I think that just shows on an organisational stage. You know, we're actually doing quite well as well. And, don't forget Eddie Hearn's coming back with Match Room to work with Relentless again in October. Um, obviously Eddie's going to be announcing that very shortly. So, you know, there's also the, the small hall shows that we put on. Are always a, there's always that one opportunity that people get a chance to showcase their talent to Eddie and the lads at Match Room. And, you know, the next the next fight they might find themselves on is at the arena in, uh, in October. Jason, that was a long answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Better than saying yes and no. <laughs> Question for Mr. Nelson. Obviously, since the, the big night at the arena in April, you've probably been dying to get out again the since then, obviously, tasting it again. So, how are you feeling ahead of your fight coming up? Um, obviously, I'm just I'm dying to get back out. You know, yeah. I, was, uh, I was hoping to be back out before now, but obviously, we've, we've never had a chance to get out. Um, I was meant to be boxing on the Summer Rumble a few weeks ago, um, but I would had a bit of an illness and yeah, infection and stuff, and, and I just wouldn't have been match fit, you know, I wouldn't have been ready. Um, but that's behind me now, we've been working hard, we're ready with the gym. Um, so obviously, back to Steve, we've got an opportunity to get out there, 
uh, we'll be boxing six rounds. Um, so I'm happy to just get get a six round now and keep, yeah. keep taking my back, keep busy, you know. Um, I'm fighting a tough kid. I'm not fighting to push away now. So I'm, I'm, I'm still going to go. I'm expecting a tough fight for six rounds. Um, but I'm just looking forward to getting back out there and, and, and turning it back on, you know. Andy as well, how's preparations been for yourself and do you see potentially stride towards a title down the line? Um, aye, 100%. Um, preparations have been going really well for this, but getting top court in spawn, you can't ask for any better, you know. Um, sent, when I've came back into the game, I'm, I'm here purely for the glory, you know, to do as much as I possibly can, so I've, I've, when the title opportunities come, I've got to take them, you know, wherever they are. 100%, definitely. Just like getting out as much yeah. as possible then. Yeah, I, um, I, I had to pull off the last show. Um, in, in, the, in the May one, I had quite a bad chest infection. It took us a while to get over that. Uh, so I was, I was a bit disappointed I had to pull out of there because like, it kind of stopped the moment, momentum a bit. But I've been back, back in the gym, training, training hard as I possibly can, you know, for, for, for this show. Put myself in a good position to move forward, you know. A quick one off uh, Tom Whitfield there, obviously with regards to yourself, um, you haven't been out since you had that great win against Dan Cole, yeah. how does it feel to get, not only get back in the gym but be back out next weekend as well? Yeah, I can't wait, uh, I was supposed to be fighting me but I was injured and asked so I had to pull off, but uh, just called me to get back in, get it out and move on to the next level. Like. Also some scores, more so when you got the general in the corner there. Uh, I can't wait. <clears throat> yeah, any more questions? No, I just want to go in there. What about uh, the promoters themselves, Steve and Danny Cox? What's your yeah, thoughts on uh, thought. Danny Wall? And I think it's just a sign of the times that we, you know, we can bring through uh, fighters with, with great pedigree and, and uh, great amateur pedigree and, and give them an opportunity. And I think, um, touching on what Steve was, was saying before, you know, I can grab. Uh, yourself, Peter, out of this crowd now and and say I'm going to put you on a show. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but ultimately, you know, there's, there's a strong possibility you're going to get hurt there. So I just think, um, you know, we're, we're going to wrap about it the right way. And when you start playing with possibly people's health um, by, by taking unlicensed fighters with one or two fights and sticking them in the ring and they've got no amateur pedigree at all. And I just think it's a recipe for disaster. So you know we'll continue to do what we're doing, um, and um, and people like Danny Wall and and, and Poir are great advocates of that. Like to say as well, Peter did get in with Chubsy. Yeah, we got in. You got between the ropes. Not many people do that. Well done. <laughs> but yeah. Um, any more questions? No. All sorted. Okay. Well, as I say, the show is on the 24th of July, uh, Friday night. Uh, doors open at six. First fight half past seven. Uh, some great shows, uh, some great fights on the show. Uh, tickets available from all the fighters and from RafePromotions.com. Uh, over to you now for the uh, one-on-ones and uh, the, the interviews with uh, the lads from Peep Magazine uh, and Fighting Chance and from the Edinburgh Weir. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the night. Cheers. Thank you.